Guys, we're gonna do some grilled chicken legs on the Ninja Foodie XL Grill, coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes, and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, hit that thumbs up, all that good stuff. Get ready to put a comment down below, get ready to share this. Now, there's a lot of stuff to do when you watch a YouTube video, isn't there? <laughs> all right, so what are we doing today, guys? Real simple, we're going to do some uh, chicken legs on the Ninja Foodie XL Grill. We're going to do grill temp high. Uh, we're going to cook these to about 170, 175 internal. With the darker meat, I tend to go a little bit longer and get a little higher internal temperature, okay? So just stick with me on that one. Um, I am just going to be using a little spicy Jamaican jerk seasoning blend from Caribbean Q. All right, guys, I'll put a link down below for this stuff. Um, I'm not affiliated. I paid for it. Uh, you know, I just know that Kirk has a great company over there and he's, uh, he got some really good spices. Okay. So I'm not labeling these as, these as jerk chicken. It's just the spice I'm using. You use whatever spice you like to use or uh, seasoning you like to use. Okay. All right. So all I'm doing on these is we have 14 legs. I'm not sure all 14 will fit in there, but we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to make it fit. We're going to spray them down with some canola oil. You can use avocado oil if you'd like. I'm just, I have the canola and it works, okay? Uh, sprayed it down one side, season it heavily on that side, and then just again, flip them over, spray them down again, and then add a little bit more uh, seasoning to the back side of it, okay? All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, really not much to this one. I'm just kinda, we're showing a little capacity of the XL grill showing you how to do the chicken legs uh, using the grill temp high. Uh, easy as can be. We'll flip about halfway through, flip them around, just making sure nothing's burning, nothing's uh, getting too little, too crispy. But they're gonna turn out amazing. Come on over to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as a Kitchen Island. All right, come on back. Okay, we got our Ninja Foodie Grill on. We're gonna do grill temp high. I'm not using the built-in thermometer. Um, I just don't think we need it. I'll just use my Thermo Pro. I'm gonna set it for uh, 20 minutes. I don't think we're gonna need 20 minutes, but instead of having to mess with the temperature later, um, that's what I wanna do. About five minutes in, we'll check them, do a little flip, and then five minutes, five minutes, you know how we do, until we get the temperature we need. We will be using our Thermo Pro uh, thermometer, instant read, to be checking the stuff. If you guys wanna get one of these, links are down below. Actually, links down below for the cutting board, foodie. You guys know how we roll. Anything you want is down below. Okay, uh, once it's preheated, we'll get the chicken Let's on. Let's get these chicken legs on. We gotta do this. Gonna kind of yin and yang these. We'll see if we can get all 14 on here. Let's squeeze one more little one in there. There you go. <laughs> If this fits, it's going to be just barely. What do you think? I think we're going to get all 14 on there. There you go, boys and girls. All right, these are oiled down. We're all good to go. Let's flatten this one. Get that on the side. There you go. Get as much surface area as possible. All right. All right, five minutes. We'll check on it. Okay, five minutes in. All right, five minutes in, we're gonna do a little flipping. Another five minutes, let's go. I'm pivoting a little bit. We're gonna put a little uh, Sweet Baby Ray's on there. I feel like I'm making a little barbecue chicken. Uh, but again, not too so too much sauce, just to add a little sweetness to that uh, that Caribbean Q seasoning. Another five minutes. Let's check some temps. 
see where we're at. 163, 168, 170. All right, we're looking good. Okay, this one needs a little bit more time. 163, all right. We got a big dog over here. Let's see where he's at. Yeah, homeboy needs a little bit more time. But the rest of them are looking pretty dang good. This big boy over here. 150, all right, cool. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little barbecue sauce on these bad boys. Flip them around, get some barbecue sauce on them. We'll do a little flip and then I'll finish them off. Probably just another five minutes or so. And again, this is gonna get messy, but a little soak and you'll be good to go, okay? Remember, I don't, not a big fan of a lot of sauce. So you add as much or as little as you want. Uh, so we're just gonna kinda just give it a little, just give it a little extra sweetness. Nothing crazy and silly up in here. We're just having a little bit of fun. We're just painting some chicken. That's all we're doing, painting some chicken. A little chicken painting time. Uh, get these covered up. Oh, these, the smell, guys, the, if you haven't had jerk seasoning before, the smell is insane. It is so good. A lot of cinnamon. There's some spice in there. Don't get, don't get, don't get it twisted. It's gonna be a little spicy, but uh, you know, a little spice never hurt nobody. Never hurt nobody. Just ask my uh, my buddy Dutch from Daddy Dutch Barbecue. That boy has an iron gut. He has no problem with spice whatsoever. All right, so basically these are done. We're just gonna let that sauce caramelize and uh, all the chicken will be done. So a little more sauce. And you know you guys can't go wrong with Sweet Baby Ray's. All right, paint your chicken. Get that chicken painted. Okay, all the chicken's painted. We'll give it another two, three minutes and we should be ready to eat. All right. We are good to go. Look at that. Those are chicken legs. Yep. Whole bunch of them. <laughs> uh, I know this isn't exactly the most exciting video around, but you know, now you know you could put 14 some odd chicken legs in there. Maybe 15. All right, uh, let me pull these out of here and we'll try one, all right? All right, guys, these are done. I'm telling you, just the smell of that seasoning, this uh, Kirby Q spicy jerk. I'm telling you, the smells coming off of this stuff right here. Let's talk about, let's talk about the ingredients. Cayenne, nutmeg, allspice, ginger, all that fragrant, all those fragrant spices and you know, oh man, so good. Uh, scotch bonnet pepper, so you know it's a little, little, little hot there, right? Oh man, this is gonna be good. All right, so check it out. Uh, let's take a bite of one of these bad boys. Still hot. Give me a little napkin to hold on to it because it's freaking hot. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Mm. A little of that sweet heat. Oh, man, that's so good. Kurt, you're on to something there, buddy. Oh, that's good. Mm, all right. Oh, man, that was amazing. Good stuff. Listen, we're at the end of the video here. If you'd like to get any of the gear I use, the seasoning I use, any of that stuff, Ninja Foodie Grill, all the links are down below. My knives, my cutting boards all have coupon codes. Check them out, save a little bit of money. All of it doesn't cost you anything else. It just helps off the channel. So hook it up. All right. If you want to become a show producer, click this link right here and that will take you to my Patreon account. You sign up, get your name at the end of the video, a couple more things in there. So uh, you'll be immortalized in chicken leg heaven. All right. <laughs> Listen, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.